McCarthyism was uh, this anti-communist um, uh, drive that McCarthy started. And he was going after all the people that had any communist affiliations. And a lot of the movie people in Hollywood had their lives ruined. There was a song at the time, is there a red under your bed? And <laughs> no, really? Yeah. And though it, it was very funny, it really wasn't. It was, it was so sad. It was a terrible time. People were followed. Your, t your uh, telephones were tapped. And the blacklist. I, I covered the Communist Party at Columbia for the Columbia Daily Spectator. I went to more communist meetings for the reporting on them than you would ever imagine. And they were so boring. I mean, I'd get out of there and I, I kept saying, what the hell is the problem here? Why is everybody so afraid of these people? They're so <laughs> boring. Uh, or at worst, they were interested in free love, one or the other. And so I wasn't at all... Uh, bothered by it, and I wasn't worried also either about my credentials about loving the United States at the time. Nothing was political that I knew of. There was we nothing were just political. With some, the only yeah. thing is that there was a difference between we knew there's a difference between rich people and poor people. <laughs> but you know, during the pre-war, when the communists in the 1930s or I don't know what the 40s. The Communist Party used to have what they call Young Communist League. They would come to areas like the Lower East Side and they would have parties. For, they would invite people to come, young people, they dance and free. You, how much it cost? It's free. If anybody signed a name, I mean, if they wanted to research, this person became well known and they can look up and find the name when he was 17 years old. I don't know. I mean, this is what happened. I used to go to those parties. But I was never, at that point, I mean, I was in my early 20s. I was not interested in politics. Mm -hmm. But I did, I, I was idealistic and uh, definitely liberal. We were all to the left, you know. We were all liberal and idealistic, but more in, in uh, connection with the photography, with wanting to use the medium mm -hmm. to make the world a better place, to mm -hmm. show how people lived, how people suffered. Mm -hmm. And this was what I'm, interested me. But I imagine the Photo League, I mean, we did have a few communist members, but mm -hmm. didn't yeah. bother me. That I didn't know good. much, yeah, and I didn't care. <laughs>
to somebody from the National Security Agency when I was in charge of a documents room uh, that my documents were all fine, everything was fine, and he just asked me in a routine thing, this was in uh, Karlsruhe, Germany, a routine audit if I had ever belonged to any of these organizations. And I said, yeah, the Photo League. Wow. Immediately, I was pulled off the job. My boss, who I liked a lot, said, there's a little problem, and you're going to have to stand down <coughs> for, for a while while they check you out. So then I heard via the grapevine that the FBI was in Woburn, Massachusetts, <laughs> inquiring about this Boy Scout. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> and wow. so 18 days, I was off the job. And then I got a call from my boss, Huey, uh, the major, that everything was fine, and I was back on the, on the job again. <laughs>